I'm here at the car park at Delancey Park and you wouldn't even know that this was a park there's no signage nothing to tell you other than that um, set propriété et terre à la main, which means that you can't trespass mind you there's no trespass law on Guernsey but they are interesting anyway this is the car park area this area is to the left of the car park as you drive in and it looks like it was a form of I don't know like a basketball volleyball area stroke tennis court which is very very unkempt not looked after on any level at all even the handrail doesn't indicate it's the end of the steps there's a set of steps there as well this is the car park itself in Delancey it's very very sad state road surface looks like it hasn't been certainly maintained in, in many many years and at the top of that road surface that I've just come up there's a barrier I'm gonna to have to limbo literally I will literally limbo onto this but that's because I can but that's the access or not that's the barrier I've just come through there's another area over there I've no idea what that is but certainly completely inaccessible for me as a wheelchair user now generally the, the pathway is in quite good condition and as you can see the grass has kept. So I'm outside this building at the top of the pathway I've just come up and I have no idea what it is. I'm going to guess it might be a toilet block or something but I don't know I'm going to investigate. And yes I'm sorry I'm a bit out of breath because I've come up the bank. It is actually a toilet block. Very sad looking place and very very inaccessible and I'm not exaggerating this at all look at the state of the pathways so uh, this has to be a joke really hasn't it um, that's the toilet block the accessible loo is around the corner okay um, so I'm not exaggerating look that's, that's my foot and my leg there and there's no path to get to it unless you go all the way around that way which is very very inaccessible as well kind of words fail me really on this one I remember being up here years ago and this was actually almost reasonably accessible as a wheelchair user look at the state of it it kind of looks like all they do is cut the grass here I'm gonna head down that way now to see what my um, how it's positive here there's wheelchair access into the building here just come down a very steep incline um, which is doable for me because I'm an athlete but I defy anybody else to try and go back up it again and this is the other part of the perimeter leading up to entrance into the college and then further into the land. it is the age old I'm only dropping off it is the age old it's our technicians and they're actually doing a job on at the adult um, what I'm I start that again I'm on the campus at Delancey Park. You've got the uh, school for infants up there, which I'm not going to film any more than just a glance at it, in case I pick up children. Even though it's a public area, it makes no difference. I like to look after my safeguarding. Um, this is a pathway leading up to Delancey Park. As you can see, there's a big hole there. Um, it's quite a ramp up there. And the gateway, I think, has been closed off just as well, considering that I'm guessing that's what you might not be able to see just this area here up towards the bin that's quite a quite a rise so I'm guessing it might be covering a dirt or something and anyway, I'm going back out on just a few meters up and there is a pathway in here again very very unkempt um, and that leads that's the site of bright beginnings and the path leads up into I've just passed bright beginnings you can see this an art deco house there art deco shape um, but this looks like it was a vehicular access which they blocked off completely and even put now a railing over it as well but I can actually get by there in the wheelchair it's actually it's just wide enough for me but it would need to be a bit wider for anybody who's a bariatric wheelchair user I'm going to continue on back on this path so that's where I've been there's the toilets over there um, and down that way is uh, the college I will edit this obviously so I'm heading back this way and I'll come all the way back around the tree line and back down into the car park which is over there somewhere so i'm up quite a height just here. below this sign we've got another car parking not car parking space 
just below the sign that I showed above, we've got another pedestrian type entry. Uh, we've got barriers here to stop children or anybody rushing out onto the road. And it, hopefully you can tell by this short video that the pathway, the footpath, pavement, whatever you want to call it, is starting to narrow considerably. So I'm actually going to go this way instead of the inside at the end of that path now. So this is where I am. Just to give you, it's the end of the yellow line and the beginning of new parking. And to be fair, this area tapers off almost into a feather. But now I've got to go out onto the road surface and it's not exactly two-way traffic here. So as you can landmark where I am, that's, God bless us, save us, keep us. Oh, that's Delancey Roman Catholic Church and the school's over there on the left. And there's another entrance into the park here. Now this is certainly wider. I don't know that it's any better surface-wise, but to be fair in relation to the pavement that I've just wheeled along, it was more than reasonably flat. At that same entrance I've just come through, um, this, and I'm guessing that was some time ago, but m there's also a... Somebody's put put is missing. Okay, I'm um, full circle. I need to take that out again. I'm full circle and I'm now back at the barrier. Now there's a huge area up there and I have no idea how I would um, access that area at all or if it's even part of Delancey Park. So this is the hill I went up and there's the hill I came back up and the pathway around and now I'm heading back down to the car park. Just be for the barrier and that's actually quite dangerous especially if you're visually impaired or if you're uh, a parent with a buggy and the child maybe not even strapped in because it can happen as we all know. Um, or, um, you know, an elderly person with a zimmer frame, etc. I'm hoping this shows more accurately the state of the surface of the pathway driveway. I mean, the vehicles come up here whenever they're doing work, so it's in really poor state, but the car park itself is also in a very, very poor state. There's potholes everywhere in the car park. No edging, etc. No accessible parking designated, so on and so forth.